uh, get to know a little bit about, uh, first of all, what is this program, what is the purpose of this program, why did you get it, why did you get it, uh, and what are some of the things that have to do with this program? You all have a chance to meet some of your fellow Blue Ridgians, if you have some of those other names of Blue Ridgians. Um, we're going to, and that's actually something we do this year, so we're going to have a mascot, uh, not just a little bit of a mascot. So we're going to get started here. Again, Lawrence is going to be slipping in probably in about uh, five, ten minutes, so we're going to slip into the back. But uh, I think we can go ahead and start with a few things. And, uh, so the first thing is going to be introduction. I already introduced myself. I'm Mr. Carroll, I'm your director. What that means is I'm basically the principal of the And one of the things we we'll talk about is the fact that Blue Ridge is in school. We know where we're going to be in the way, that, uh, uh, the way that we're structured. We're still a school. So I'm like the principal. So I kind of do a lot of the stuff that uh, kind of helps with the logistics and, and helps set up the uh, curriculum. Uh, I deal with the student situations. I help run the uh, trips when we go to places like DC and some of these trips. So you'll see me around in your classrooms and, and obviously at uh, meetings like this. Um, I'm also a resource for students. We have uh, our students do a lot of different things. So uh, one of the things we'll get into is like you have opportunities. We have students that did, have done all kinds of different, like say camps this summer or going to different places and doing things that they're really interested in. Hello, everybody. Um, so um, one of the things that, that uh, students will do a lot of times is contact me directly and say, hey, Mr. Carraway, I'm really interested in forensics uh, science. You know, I want to be uh, an investigator and forensic science. Can you find me something to do uh, with that? So uh, a lot of times that's going to be uh, the students will contact me directly for that. And so that's something that all of us who, that I'm about to introduce are kind of resources for you guys for things that you want to do and you want to learn in high school. So we also have uh, Mrs. Alton, who's in the back there uh, by the camera. Um, she is our technology person. Ms. Alton's been with the program for a long time. She also taught at Madison County High School uh, many years ago. Um, not that many years ago. But uh, so uh, Ms. Alton does, and she'll be talking to you a little bit about uh, instructional technology. We're a virtual school, which means we have our own email and our own uh, documents and things like that that we use. So she's a, a great resource for helping out with those things. Uh, we have Mr. Reynolds. Where's Mr. Reynolds? So last week he was virtual because he was in Hawaii, but he's actually here today. So uh, Mr. Reynolds is our online learning coordinator. So that's a little bit uh, interesting for you guys because your first couple of classes that you're gonna have are not actually online classes. They're classes where you'll actually have um, teachers in the classroom, but you'll do a lot of work with online learning. You'll learn a lot of skills for how to operate in that environment most effectively, and that's gonna be uh, part of Mr. Reynolds' role. The other part of his role, which is really the big part, is when you get to 11th and 12th grades, you will have online courses that you will be taking through us, and he helps to coordinate and register and do all of that kind of stuff. So uh, Mr. Reynolds, and then, uh, oh, coordinator. And Ms. Bonovich, who's standing in the back, uh, she does basically everything else. And she does one of the most important things. She feeds you. So always be nice to Ms. Bonovich because food is important. Um, but seriously, she also works with like things like registering courses, getting information out. So here's the one thing, one of the things we'll talk a little bit about today. You're going to receive information you've actually already gotten in your packet about your Blue Ridge email. You, have a, you probably have a local school email account. You also will have a Blue Ridge account because we have our own school system. Uh, kind of stuff. In the Blue Ridge account, when you get emails from either me or Ms. Alton or Ms. Bonovich or Mr. Reynolds, you need to check those emails because we're sending it. We're not going to just spam. Well, Mr. Reynolds might spam you a little bit. He sends out a once a week kind of what's going on in Blue Ridge. But other than that, nobody spams you. Uh, we're going to send you, if we're going to email you, it's going to be for something important. So I'll have students, and this has happened many times, like we offer an uh, engineering class from UVA. And I've had a student in September say, well, Mr. Carraway, I wanted to take that engineering class from UVA, but I didn't know anything about it. And I can go look in their email and say, well, you have three emails from me about that. You've got emails from Ms. Bonovich and Mr. Reynolds about that, and you never opened them. That's why you don't know anything about it, and it's too late for you to get into the course. So for those things, those are the things you want to th be thinking about when you're, uh, um, when you're in Blue Ridge. So we'll get into some of that stuff today. So a couple of things. Uh, we're also going to introduce your teachers, some of whom just left the building. I don't know where they went, but from Greene County, we've got Mr. Fox. So green people, you want to be applauding for Mr. Fox? Because he's going to be, come on, Mr. Fox. Come on, there we go. And from Nelson County, we have Mrs. Knight. From Madison County, we have Ms. Johnston. And from Orange County, who will be here in a little bit, we have Ms. Carlton. And one of the things about it, you will have your own teacher at your own school, but you'll see these other teachers, and we'll, we'll be uh, doing activities where we'll be getting together with other schools. So you will see and, and be working with these other teachers at times as well. So a couple of logistics things. First of all, 
Uh, bathrooms, if you haven't found them yet, if you go out that door where Mr. Reynolds is being a doorstop, uh, if you go out that door and take a left, uh, you will find the bathrooms out there. Today, this is not like school, so you do not have to raise your hand. You do not have to get a pass. If you uh, feel the, the need to step out, you can just do that quietly, get up, head for the back, and, and head to those restrooms. We'll also have break times. Um, the other thing is cell phones, and I'm going to do this right now myself. I'm going to ask that everybody does this, and that is to please uh, pull your phones out and turn off the ringers. Uh, we will not have these out. Well, actually, we're going to be using them for something productive in a couple of minutes, uh, at least some of, the, some of your phones. Um, but right now, what we'll ask is that everybody have their ringers off. And if we're not using it for in the midst of using it for something productive, please have them up. We will have break times today, break time, lunch, things like that. You, you are welcome uh, to check your phones. So it looks like Orange is rolling in. So we're going to give them just about uh, uh, 30 seconds to go ahead and, and get in if we can... Uh, if you guys can encourage Rachel, uh, Miss Carlton to get the, uh, them as quickly as possible. So while they're coming in, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview. What's gonna happen today? First of all, we will be moving around a lot. So where you're sitting is not where you're gonna be parked for the day. We're not gonna just stand here and talk at you all day. There's lots of stuff that's gonna be happening where you're gonna be uh, working on some different things. You're gonna be meeting uh, your classmates and, and uh, you know from the other schools and things like that. We're gonna see that. Um, we're gonna have pizza. So that's a good thing. Uh, that's that's a like a Blue Ridge staple food, and if uh, and so Miss Bonovich will be setting all that stuff up. So uh, that's gonna that's gonna be uh, something that we're gonna be doing, and we're gonna be working. Uh, you already did a little bit of problem solving here. I had that brain teaser thing going on. You had that. Uh, we're gonna be working on some other kinds of problem solving because that's a lot of what we do. Usually in the context of uh, whatever your whatever course you're taking. So we're gonna be working on how do you do that with a team? How do you how do you be as effective as possible a as a team? So, morning, orange people. Come on in. We're going to take just a second, and then we're going to have a little test here. But this is not a test. Of, this is not like an SAT test. This is just kind of a, a, like, what do you think about this test? So, there's some chairs over here. You guys will be moving around a lot. So, a couple of things. Uh, Orange folks, uh, my name is Mr. Caraway. I'm the director here. I've just uh, kind of done introductions. So guys, a couple of things real quick. Hornets, please make sure that your cell phones, uh, ringers and stuff are turned off if they're not, if you haven't done that already. Um, and we'll have cell phones will be up until we're, unless we're taking breaks and stuff. Um, so I'm Mr. Caraway. Um, I'm gonna introduce the other Blue Ridge uh, folks here for you. This is Mrs. Alton, our technology person right here. Mr. Reynolds is leaving the room once again when I'm introducing him. Mr. Reynolds is our online learning coordinator, and Ms. Bonovich, who's not in the room right now, will be serving lunch so and doing all sorts of other important things. So I know you guys just sort of kind of walked in like, okay, what's going on? We just were talking a little bit about what the day is going to be like. We're going to be uh, getting to know people, solving some problems. But the first thing is we're going to talk a little bit about what Blue Ridge is. So what we're going to need to do, you need for you to do is to get into some small groups, just sort of voluntary. We're not going to assign any groups, uh, small groups where you're going to get in like two or three people. And at least one of those people needs to have a cell phone. This is when you can have a phone out. So you have a cell phone with texting capability. So we need somebody to uh, uh, we need to for you guys to go ahead and find your your it's going to be a conversation partners. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Okay, once you've got your group, here's what needs to happen. One person in the group needs to text. This is the number they're texting to, 37607. And the message that they need to text to that number is my whole name 554, which is all right here. So it doesn't have to be all caps. That's not a big deal. Uh, but it's... Th so you go, this is the number you're texting to. And you're texting M A R C C A R R A W A Y five five four. No, no, my that you text exactly what you see up there, Mark Caraway five five four to that number. Is that making sense? Are we getting met? What have we? M -A, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. It probably should not. I mean, I don't know what your ser service is there, but uh, if you if you're allowed to text, I mean, if you can text normally without charges, it won't it won't charge you. Okay. So as it says, you join. Yep. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So here's what you're going to be doing. Just kind of uh, hold on to that for a minute, and I'll give you those instructions again in just a second if you didn't quite get that wired. But what you're going to be doing, a couple of we're going to have a couple of different questions here. So the first thing is, you've joined Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School, and we are a school. So you are actually going to be students of two schools. You'll be students of your local school, Orange or, or William Monroe or Madison. You will be a student of that school, but you also are a student in our school. But our school is really different because we don't have a building. We don't have a football team. We don't have a parking lot. We don't have all the things that you think about when you think of a school. So the question for you to talk about, you don't have to do anything with the text for right now. Just talk about this for about one minute. You need to come up with a definition. What is a school? But you cannot use the word place because we do not exist in a place. Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School does not exist in a specific place. So come up with a definition. What is a school when you can't use the word place? Okay, I haven't turned this on yet, but as you get your definition finalized, you'll have another minute to keep talking if you want to, but once you get a, what you think is a definition for what is a school when you can't use the word place, then go ahead and whoever's got the text thing going on it, uh, for your group, will go ahead and put it into this text here. There we go. Coming in. Learning environment. Community you learn together. Educational community. Keep them coming. A, just a community. Could be any community. Program. Program. Huh. A program that educates you. So a group of people who learn together, a center of learning. I like that. Okay. All right, a lot of good answers here. I'm going to kind of change up the visual on this for a second because we can, what we can see, I'm going to turn this into a word cloud where the most common responses, the most common words are going to show up as the biggest. So that'll be kind of interesting to see how that uh, works out. Well, learning and learn certainly are the biggest thing. So that is, that's a big piece of clearly of what you will be doing as a student in Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School. That's what we're here for. It's about learning. But here's what I want you to know about our learning, and it, that is we exist to be different. And that is, you know, we exist. You guys have great classes at your local schools. Not only do you have your good lo your great local classes, you also have advanced placement, dual enrollment. You've got opportunities. So what is it that we are here to do for you? That's what we're going to be talking about today, because 
you joined this program, you applied for and joined this program because we are different. So when we talk about learning, absolutely you're gonna be learning, but you're gonna be learning some different things and in a different way at times. Um, another word that came up a lot, community, that is one of the purposes. So the so governor schools were started by the state of Virginia to be communities of learners. By that they mean, you know, er, almost all the, the different counties have, like, you know, you see the same people kind of all the way through, a lot of times from uh, elementary school all the way through high school. What they wanted to do was to combine people across uh, across county lines and create a community. So that's part of the reason that you're here. You may be from William Monroe High School, you may be from Madison, you may be from Nelson, but you're actually gonna be working with people from other schools over your time in the program. So we will be a community. Um, a learning environment, yep, we're gonna do uh, some of that. Certainly, uh, I'm happy that students came up as a, big, uh, as a big phrase on here because really what we try to do is be geared towards our students in terms of what are you interested in? What are you going to do? as a student in this program. So that's gonna be kind of a critical part of what you're doing. Knowledge, uh, performers, program, uh, this is another thing, program is good, because we have a lot of different, you know, as a school, again, we don't have a place, so we're, you're not walking into the Blue Ridge front door every day, but we have a program that has a lot of different things available for you as students. So that's something that we'll kind of fill you in on a little bit today. So good answers on that. So we're gonna go back for a second to, uh, to this and go to, another question and that question so we want you to to talk about this with your group and say come up with one really good reason but here's here's two things about this you cannot use two reasons and one reason you can't say because it looks good on a college application how many of you joined because it looks good on a college application just out of curiosity don't don't be shy what said it what said here stays here it just happy all right how many of you joined because your mother made you. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> this ain't our first rodeo, we know how this goes. All right, so one of the things we'll talk about is the fact that, and one of the things we'll get in, you'll hear this from me a lot over the years, and that is, like, we're really happy when our students get into good colleges, that is fantastic. We've had students go into Ivy League schools on full scholarship. We have students go to every single military academy there is. We've had students, you know, we, uh, half of our students every year go to uh, UVA, Virginia Tech, William & Mary, you know, uh, that, uh, some, of the, some of the really good schools in Virginia. But we have students that do all kinds of stuff. We're not as interested about where you go to college, even though we're happy when you get into the college of your choice. What we want to do is make sure you're really ready when you get there. So we'll talk about what that looks like and how that, pro how that works with our program. But for now, I want you to think about Okay, if you can't say because my mother made me and because it looks good on a college application, why did you join Blue Ridge? So go ahead and um, think about that and then uh, I'll turn that question on in just a second here. Hang on just. So, when you have a good reason, go ahead and pop it in on, on the text and we're gonna see what those look like. Why did you join Brew? All right. Whoops. Hey, I'm going to change this for a second. Hang on a second. Here we go. Let's try this again. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Better my public speaking presentation skills to learn more than, than high school. All right, we got good stuff here. All right, keep them coming. We got some more. What else we got? Your opportunities. Come on.
Come on. All right. Come on now. All right. Oh. All right. Let's see what this looks like. All right, guys. So you guys absolutely have hit it. Uh, and not every group does, by the way. Um, I still see, sometimes we'll do this and uh, you'll still see college show up as like the biggest thing. But there are two things here that I think that this program can do for you. And one is opportunities. Again, you're going to have some opportunities. You'll have the opportunity right now, as a Blue Ridge student, there are four classes that we offer from the University of Virginia. There are very few students, very few high school students in the state of Virginia who have access to be able to take college courses from the University of Virginia or from JM, J, James Madison University. Very few. So those are kind of opportunities. Also opportunities, we'll talk a little bit about some of the things that we do outside of uh, courses and stuff. We have, as I mentioned, students that have attended camps. We took a group of students, if you saw the pictures earlier, we had students in Galapagos this year, uh, the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific. So you have those kind of opportunities. We also provide challenge. And challenge does not mean more work per se. What we're looking for, we're not trying to make you dig bigger, deep, uh, deeper, longer ditches. What we're trying to do is to give you the kind of challenges to get your brain thinking. You're basically, in terms of school, what you're doing with this program is you're playing up to varsity. Okay? You get what I mean by that? So what you're doing is you're, you're going to be working at a, a level that is where we, uh, where we expect more, but we also will support more. And when, I, and when I say expect more, we're going to give you different things to do, different things. It will not be the same as a regular class would be. But the reason we do that is so that we can prepare you guys so that when you get into an environment, going from college to high school, it, or excuse me, from high school to college is a huge jump into a really cold pool for a lot of people. They're not just not used to those, the skills that are needed to be successful there. So that's a lot of what we're going to work on. Going into high school, you guys are coming out of middle school, going into high school, you're going to find a whole different set of challenges at high school. So part of what we'll do is support that and prepare it as well. Uh, one of the other things that came up that's a huge piece, and then we're going to talk a lot about today, is skills, because that's really why we exist. And we have great content. You're going to learn great stuff in history class this year. You're going to learn great stuff in AP Biology, the other courses that you do. But the thing that you're going to work on throughout your entire time here, and somebody put it up here, um, like presentation skills, things like that, um, those are the kind of things that we will help you develop that you will find very useful after you graduate from high school. So uh, really good answers on this one as well. So we've got one more question that I want you to, uh, to think about here. Oh, actually, I'm skipping over to that. We'll do that in a sec. I'm going to show you a video real quick. So this has to do with the purpose of Blue Ridge. Uh, what do we, you know, we said opportunities and challenges. So I'm just going to show this. Uh, it's about a two minute video here that we're going to show that, that explains a little bit about why we do what we do and how we do what we do. Oops. Okay, here are two questions that can change your career, your business, maybe even your life. The first comes from Claire Booth Woods, one of the first women to serve in the U.S. Congress. One day in the early 1960s, she went to visit President Kennedy, and she told him this, a great man is a sentence. While well, Abraham Lincoln's sentence was, he preserved the Union and freed the slaves. Franklin Roosevelt's sentence was, he lifted us out of the Great Depression and helped us win a world war. Was worried that Kennedy was trying to do too many things, and that his sentence risked becoming a muddled paradigm. If you really want to find your true motivation, ask yourself that question. What's my sentence? And you don't have to be president of anything that isn't healthy. Maybe your sentence is she invented a device that made people's lives easier. Maybe it's she taught two generations of kids how to read. Think about your sentence. Then use it to 
navigate your life. But to make your sentence really come alive and to create motivation that lasts, you need a second question. So each night, before you go to sleep, ask yourself, was I better today than yesterday? Keep asking that question. Because that's how we really improve. Day by day, step by step, over and over, for a very long time. It's tough, but it's the only way. Combine these two questions and motivation at work, in business, and the rest of your life will take care of itself. Try the surprising truth about what motivates us. So that, it's, that's just a really simple way of, uh, of kind of talking about the fact that what we're here to do is to help you figure out what it is you want to do and what are the things that you're interested in. I'm going to share a couple of examples. But one thing I didn't do uh, when we started out, and, and actually there's a couple of things that I need to, to do. First is I always like to get a nice pano picture of the group. I want everybody to smile, say, hey, we're in Blue Ridge. Say it right now. Hey, we're in Blue Ridge. Boy, you guys didn't get your coffee this morning or something. Okay, there we go, Gary. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. <laughs> All right. The other thing is, I forgot to do a reminder early on, two things about these badges. You guys need to, one, keep them on during the day so that uh, we don't forget who you are. And two, uh, at the end of the day, Ms. Bonovich is going to be collecting them back, and she'll need all those back because uh, you'll be using them again in the future. So there's that. So going back to, uh, going back to why we exist. So talking about... You know, what's your, what's your sentence going to be? What are you going to do? And I'm just going to share a couple of examples, some of whom uh, you might know, actually. Um, so actually, some of them who might be related to some of you in here. Um, so these are some of our graduates and different things that they've gotten into. And, and for many of these, uh, many of our graduates, things that they've explored in this program become things that they get really interested in and then go, uh, and then go pursue in college and beyond. So Sam uh, Young here in, in this kind of muddled picture uh, from Madison County High School. Uh, working with microbiology and now working with uh, uh, trying to find a cure for cancer, working with UVA, um, actually did his senior project on uh, on some of this. Got interested in some of these topics when he was in the AP biology class at Madison County High School. Um, so this is Mr. Reynolds and myself in Shanghai, China with uh, Chris Wood from uh, Nelson County High School. Um, Chris graduated from Nelson. Uh, he ended up uh, going to Shanghai. He was teaching English uh, and then he uh, got into a uh, got into working with a Chinese company, and he's doing computer programming. At that point, the only computer programming he had uh, course that he had ever taken was a computer programming course through Blue Ridge from Mr. Reynolds. So he'd never taken it in college. But then he got into this business, and he was able he, to, to do programming as a profession based on the learning he'd done in this. Uh, so he can still continues to live in Shanghai, China, working with this uh, Chinese startup company and doing very well there. Um, uh, Newland Humphrey is from... Um, this is, uh, she's a graduate from last year from uh, Fluvanna County High School. She just was appointed to the state FFA uh, board as an officer for the state uh, Future Farmers of America organization, which is a very prestigious thing. She's really into the FFA stuff. So she's actually deferring college for a year while she serves in that uh, office officer position, and she'll be an ambassador for the FFA program around the state and around the country. So that's something she was uh, really interested in doing. And I don't know if any of you guys know, uh, from Green would know Brooke Bogger. Uh, she graduated several years. Uh, she's working now. She just got appointed as a graduate research fellow. She's traveling to Africa. She's been working in engineering to help uh, find solutions for problems that uh, like African villages uh, face. So we have lots of students. This is just kind of four examples of students who got into stuff. Brooke took an engineering course through us, the UVA engineering course, and did engineering stuff for her uh, senior project. And that's where she got a lot of her interest in that in, ended up driving her uh, college career at Virginia Tech and beyond. So we say this stuff. I mean, you guys are just going into ninth grade. You don't have to know what it is you're going to do for the rest of your life. But you're going to find some things. There's going to be a lot of opportunities. We're going to take you to places. We're going to introduce you to people. We're going to give you opportunities to explore. And if you have an interest in whatever it is, I mean, whether it's arts, whether it's technology, we'll find you things that, that will help uh, help you learn more about it. And we've had people say, oh, I think I want to be an engineer. And then they take the engineering course and they go, maybe not so much. You know, it's better to learn that when you're in high school than it is to, uh, after, after you've finished two years of college. So, so we do a lot of that kind of stuff. That's a lot of what we're going to be doing. So the last question I'm going to ask you guys 
uh, as a group. Because I mentioned, one of the big things we do is prepare, it's not only giving you those opportunities, but it's preparing you with the skills to be successful in college or beyond high school. And, and, you know, some people go straight into the military, some people go into other careers. But whatever it is, you need to have a certain set of skills to be successful. So here's what I want you to do with your group, and this will be the last text thing that we'll do, um, is to come up, what's your top three list of skills? What do you think are three really critical, don't text me yet because it's not ready to go. I have to turn the, uh, the thing on. So I'm gonna give you, just take about uh, 30 seconds, a minute of conversation, then start, uh, I'll open up the text thing. When you see it come up on the wall, then you can start texting. So come up with your top three list. So it's open up, okay. Yes. Ambition goes a long way. Open minus. Money man. <laughs> so I think this is the first time that we've ever had uh, the word good as our response, which I, but I think it comes along. I think that was in a lot of your answers, like good work, work ethic or um, other things, but several things that, uh, that kind of were jumping out to me. So uh, yeah, you got to be good. I mean, that's, that actually in its own way, you can approach like how you do school, you can approach it two ways, right? You can say, I'm gonna get done whatever I need to get done so that people get off my case and I get the best grade possible. Or you can say, I'm gonna do this really well. Like those examples that I showed you, Sam and Brooke and, the, and those guys, they're the people that do it really well. And anybody that I've ever seen in this program or any of the schools that I've ever worked in who can come in and say, I wanna do this as well as possible I've never seen anybody do that and not be successful. So being good is, that, that is in itself an understanding what good is. When, one of the things we'll get into when we start looking at like different projects and stuff that you'll do in this program is, we have a, the way that our grading works is, if you check off all the boxes, you kind of get everything done and in, that's not good enough for an A. To get an A, you have to go be above and beyond. And we don't always tell you what that looks like. Because to go above and beyond, if we told you, you wouldn't be going above and beyond. So it's not a gotcha thing. It means what are you going to do to make it as good as possible? 
And our students really don't have a problem with that. And actually, they do very, very well with that. But uh, And you will not have a problem with that. But I know it sounds a little scary. Uh, if you're used to just sort of like, I got all the answers right, I should get an A. Well, there's sometimes there's more to getting an A than just getting all the answers right. So uh, determination. This is going to be a big one. For many of you guys, you have not experienced uh, a lot of academic obstacles. You're bright. That's why you're here. Um, you have been successful in school. Uh, there will be times, uh, not just in this program, but now you're going to be taking harder uh, classes, different things. You're going to come ag up against uh, times when maybe you won't get an A. There are people I know, there are people in this room who have never not gotten an A on a test. What happens when you get a C on a test? How are you going to deal with that? How are you going to go back and say, okay, what can I do better the next time? Sort of like that question there. It's going to happen sooner or later. If it doesn't happen in high school, it'll happen in college. And it, you're better off if it happens in high school. Uh, management, we'll talk a lot about management. One of the things that we work with, you know, you're used to being in an environment where teachers literally stand up every day and say, this is what's due tomorrow. This is what's due tomorrow. It doesn't happen in college. College, they give you a piece of paper in, in August when you walk into class and it tells you when all the due dates are. And they don't tell you every day when those due dates are again. You've got a paper due in October, they don't tell you again. They just expect the paper to be done in October. So we help you with management and time, uh, skills like that. Communication is huge. Uh, one of the things for our program, because we're spread out over a big distance, you'll be working with groups that you won't necessarily see every day. How do you communicate and how do you work well together in that setting? Um, ethics was in there. That's a big one we'll talk a lot about. Um, one of the things we're very critical about and you know, serious about is honesty and ethics. And that's, that's a, a critical skill and personal uh, trait you can take out. Uh, lots of other things. Determination, commitment, attitude, uh, motivation, uh, understanding what you are interested in, asking yourself, what do I want to do with my life? Not necessarily what do I want to be, like do I want to be a, you know, a, this kind of engineer who works on roads all the time. You know, you don't have to know that precisely, but what do you want it to look like? Do you, what kind of challenges? Do you want to work inside, outside? Do you want to, you know, do you want to travel? Do you want to uh, be more involved in money stuff? What, whatever it is, understanding yourself is a huge piece of that. So you guys hit a, a lot of good skill areas. We're going to kind of get into that. Uh, and I'm going to just give you a little overview real quickly about, so how does it work with this program? How are we going to help you in the future? What are the things that is going to be different about being in here than not being in this program? So a couple of things. First of all, I just, I'm just going to give you just a minute to read this. If you can, uh, hopefully everybody can see that. But this is these are three emails that I received, uh, or excerpts from three emails that I received from former students talking about skills that they took into uh, that they they got a lot of uh, uh, a mileage out when they got to college and, and beyond. So just kind of curious, what skills or personal traits do you see out of these emails that maybe didn't make it on our list before? Anything, catch anything that didn't really make it on that big list? Yes? Being able to research. Being able to research. That is a critical skill. No matter what you study when you get to college, you will be researching and writing papers, whether it's uh, you know, real technical stuff, whether it's, uh, you know, whether you're in history or English or arts. You, that's a critical skill, and we'll, we'll, uh, that's a huge one. You notice that pops up in a couple of places there. Yeah, what else? Anything else? That, oh, Scott, yes. Knowing how to write well. How to write well. Uh, it, uh, yeah, being able to take that information when you do research and be able to turn it into something that makes sense. So, yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a skill that we'll practice. And a lot of our uh, students who graduate from this program, we talk to a lot of them, say, yeah, those are two big things. I think one of the other things that pops up for me, that, that was one of the big ones, I think, the research and writing piece. The other thing... This third uh, student, Kathleen, who graduated a long time ago, she worked with, she was really into astronomy. And she didn't end up doing astronomy as her like life's work. She's actually a hearing interpreter now um, as her life's work. But she got, she was really passionate about this. And you can tell in her thing that she's been able to see that the work that she did as a Blue Ridge student, she was working in her senior internship, she was able to continue to see that she helped to uh, track a, uh, uh, a probe that was going out into space and be able to set the trajectory for that probe. As a, as a high school student, she was working on that. She was super passionate about it, and it 
years later, she writes me to say, hey, it's still out there, it's still working, and it's all based on the, on the stuff that we did went back when I was in school. So passion is a huge piece of it as well. So a few things. How is this going to look? How are you going to find all these experiences in Blue Ridge? What's that going to look like? It's going to look like trying to get these slides moving here in a second. There we go. So a couple of things. One of the things, you guys hit it. We're going to hit uh, challenges. It's going to be difficult sometimes. It's going to be different, but not. we don't do that to make you miserable. We do it to help you get better prepared. So you're going to be members. Uh, some people said is you're going to be part of a community, and you will. You're going to you're going to get to know people from uh, other schools as well as get to know the people in your own class a lot and work with them quite a bit. Uh, you're going to take very specific courses. So uh, one of the things that came up is that not everybody's entirely clear on what this looks like as you go through high school. The way it looks is this coming year, you're going to take uh, a World History 1 and 2 course. Uh, you will have, be in a classroom with a teacher, but you will also do a lot of projects where you'll do two big projects with uh, where you'll be kind of working with other schools. One of them is more of a debate project, so it's sort of a uh, school versus another school, but uh, you'll be collaborating with your other uh, other folks. In 10th grade, you're going to take AP Biology and, and Biotechnology. Uh, and this one, you'll get ready for the AP test, which can give you college credit. Um, you will uh, also be in class with a teacher for that course. And you'll do experiments or projects with other schools as well. So basically, you have a big project every semester uh, that we'll work with you on. In 11th grade, it gets a little different. And this really becomes the more virtual part of the school. And that is, you'll start, you'll have a choice of a, a wide number of online courses. So I mentioned we've got four UVA courses, we've got AP courses, we've got computer science courses, lots of different things that you can uh, take there. And in 12th grade, you'll do a senior project where you can take any topic in, in the world that you're interested in, and you basically can, you do uh, your own program of study for that project. Uh, so it can be anything, it can be arts, it can be technology, it can be sciences, engineering, medicine, whatever you're interested in. Uh, and then you also do an online course at that at, at that level. So for the first two years, you'll be regular classroom every day. You know, pretty much looks like anybody else's class, except you'll be occasionally be doing stuff where you'll be working with Blue Ridge, um, some of which will involve uh, field trips. So we also try to have a lot of fun. So we do. Uh, I mentioned field trips. We go lots of different places. This is a group of students, uh, um, Orange, Luvana, and Madison students. We just took to uh, Galapagos Islands a, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we do different projects. We go to D.C. We canoe. Um, we travel a lot. Uh, we went to, I mentioned Galapagos uh, and also Ecuador. Um, that was a couple of weeks ago. Um, then a couple of years ago, we took a group to uh, China. That's a group of Blue Ridge students standing on the Great Wall of China. And we also go to DC. We'll, we'll do two trips to DC this year. So we do a lot of different traveling with the program. Um, I mentioned the projects and we'll get into the projects at the beginning of the year. You'll come back, we'll have a field trip, we'll get everybody together. But basically, you'll be doing uh, different kinds of projects uh, every semester. So the projects are usually kind of start in like, say, September and go till November or December, or they'll start in January or February and go till March or April. So they're kind of big time, long term projects. So you're not like sitting there having to do everything in like three days. Um, but and we'll kind of work you through that. Learning how to do those projects is a big part of your skills base. Um, lots of activities, uh, just different kinds of things that we do as a program. This is some of our engineering students last year getting started with their engineering class. I mentioned DC trips. Uh, we go to, uh, we'll see uh, National Cathedral and National Gallery this year. Um, the courses we talked about. Um, this is something we're going to be hitting on a lot today is the teamwork aspect of this program. Um, you got to be able to, to work with other people. That's a critical skill in life, so we help you a lot with that. Um, and then when you graduate, you're going to graduate. These are some of our seniors from last year. Uh, at, we have a, what's called a senior expo where everybody brings all of their project stuff in. They also do presentations. So, you know, when you hit that point, you're going to be ready to go wherever you're going after high school. So a few things to know about us. One is that we have this, you'll hear us this a lot. We have this expectation that everybody's going to act academically and professionally. And we're going to be, work a lot with you on what that means. But when you communicate in an email, we don't, it should not look like when you're emailing with your best friend. Yo, sup? That's that we don't see emails like that. And I get them sometimes. And we say, no, hey, this is academic and professional. That's dear Mr. Caraway or hey, Mr. Caraway. Um, you know, we work with you a lot on that. Uh, Ms. Alton's going to talk a little bit about that as well with uh, how, how to do that with, uh, you know, your, your accounts. Um, I mentioned ethics. We have a very serious honor code. And that is when you guys head off to college or wherever you're heading after high school. A lot of times I will be one, one of the people writing your recommendations and I'm very happy to do that. The best thing that I can say about you is 
They were, they were honorable throughout high school. We didn't have any issues. It can be really tempting, particularly if you're trying to get really, really good grades, which most of you guys are really grade oriented, it can be really tempted to use somebody else's work or copy and paste something. Just don't go there. Don't be that person because you do that in college, you're out. Like literally, they'll just like UVA, they'll just walk you out and say, see ya, we don't care if you paid your tuition, goodbye. You know, and it's not just about whether or not you get caught and kicked out. It's about just don't be that person. You, if you are somebody that people know to be an honorable person, you will get, uh, that will help you go far in life. So we do expect effort. We said, give you a lot of opportunities. We do give you a lot of challenges. We will support you. We will not do your work for you. And we will not just say, oh, well, yeah, that person's kind of special. So we're just not going to let them do, we're not going to make them do their work. Doesn't work that way. We do, we do expect some effort. We will give, we will offer a lot of reward for that effort. Um, we mentioned communication, huge. I get, I mean, any given day, even in the summertime, I probably get five or six emails, uh, even in, uh, on a typical summer day from students asking about senior internships, asking about uh, opportunities for uh, maybe a summer camp they wanna go to for next year that we might be able to help out with, asking if we could add a new course. Last year, um, we had a student from William Monroe, brand new ninth grader said, Mr. Carraway, can we go do uh, Model UN this year? It's like, I don't know. Model UN, I'd never really had anything to do with it. Started uh, communicating with students, found out we had over 20 people that were interested in that. We got a group together and went up and did a Model UN. It was fantastic. It was a blast. We're going to do it uh, again this year, I think. Um, so that kind of communication really uh, gets a lot of stuff. So Ms. Alton's going to talk with you for a couple of minutes about sort of the virtual side. And so you'll need to have, you've got in your, in your packets or you've got a sheet that has uh, your login information. She's going to kind of explain like how you're going to be using that and some things to know about the virtual side of Blue Ridge. Okay, good morning, guys. So like Mr. Carraway said, you will have an email address through Blue Ridge. How many of you have a personal email address? Excellent, I think that's everybody. So what that means is that you should never use your Blue Ridge email address or the chat function or commenting or anything like that. You should not use your Blue Ridge account for anything personal. Don't use it to plan to skip school or throw a party or anything like that. You need to assume that everything you type in when you're in your Blue Ridge, I can see it. Um, you know, think of it as your work email. You know, it is, it is not for chatting or personal use. Um, like Mr. Carraway said, academic and professional. Everything you type into our system should be academic and professional in nature. Um, what that means is that if you're sitting in class and you're a little bored, please don't send 42 winking emoticons to your friend. Not really academic or professional, but people have done it. Um, I do want to give you guys a heads up. I know some of your schools um, use software like this, but we do use a monitoring software with the Blue Ridge accounts. Anytime you're logged in with your Blue Ridge account, um, we can see what you're doing and it's recorded and saved for 30 days. So if you are doing some schoolwork and you want to take a break, log out of your Blue Ridge account. Um, I'm not, we're not trying to spy on you, but it is a way of you don't own this account. We own this account, and by letting you use it, we're assuring everyone that we're going to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing with it. Um, so just really think about that. Um, you know, that, that this is a work account and you want to be professional and academic at all times with it. Um, if you do have an issue in um, a disciplinary inaction and you are no longer allowed to use um, your account or computers at school, how successful do you think you'll be in Blue Ridge? Yeah, not very. So just, you know, if you have a question about something, I would much rather have you email and say, hey, Miss Alton, is it okay if I use my account for such and such? And normally, you know, we can figure out a way for to do stuff. Um, I don't want to scare you with it, but I want you to be upfront with you that what our expectations are for that account. Um, 
in your folder you have all your login information if you let us know this morning that your name is incorrect we have already changed it so just um type in you know if there's a misspelling spell it correctly the correct spelling has already been set up i know there was a couple of you um but if you have a question just come ask me um i would highly recommend that within the next log into it make sure you um, and email your teacher just to say, hey, I'm in, my account is set up, you know, I'm ready to go. You don't really have to do anything else with it otherwise. Um, you are able to add this account to like your phone or your iPad. I cannot see what you're doing on your phone or your iPad. The only time I can see what you're doing is if you are using this account and you're logged into like the Chrome browser on your computer um, or if you're logged into a Chromebook with it. But you can put it on your phone and all of that. Um, do not forward all your Blue Ridge email to another email address and try to use that because that causes issues when we send out documents and stuff and you try to access them, you'll have issues. So, you know, you can have it on your phone as like a second or third email address, but don't automatically forward all your Blue Ridge email address to another account. Um, but if you have questions with any of that, just let me know. I wanted to show you guys real quickly a couple things that are on our website um, that will be helpful to you. Um, under the resources, the first one is laptop loaners. If you don't have a computer at home or you have siblings that you have to share it with or you're going on a trip or for any reason that you need to borrow a laptop, we have laptops available for you guys to use out, you know, for a week or a month or a semester or something like that. Um, so all you have to do is go to where it says laptop loans. There's an online form you have to fill out and then your parent has to sign off on a printed out piece of paper just saying they know you're bringing it home. Um, we obviously, we can't provide internet to you at home, but I can set up the computer so that when you're at school, you can sync everything down at the end of the day, go home, work on stuff. And when you come back to school in the morning and crack open your laptop, it'll all sync back up the changes. So if you do need to borrow a laptop, don't worry, we don't require you to have a computer for any reason. Um, we have ones, you know, there will always be computers available for you in class, and then we have ones that you can take home if you need to. Um, there's a help desk here. If you're having trouble with a Blue Ridge account or the computer that's assigned to you in your classroom or like that, please submit a help ticket. Um, you can also email me, or if you see me in the little chat bar on the side of your email, you can send me a chat as well. Um, you know, I would much rather have you contact me early and often with an issue than have you wait and get frustrated and have something due, you know, like in an hour and you can't get it to work. Um, I would rather have you email me like six times and then go, oh, I figured it out. Great. You know, don't, please just don't hesitate to reach out and ask for help. Be a strong advocate for yourself. Um, there's also some really good... Uh, resources up here for when you start doing research and presenting and writing papers and all of that. Um, there's some great stuff on if writer's block, which we all do when we have a big paper to write and we just sit and stare at the computer. So definitely take advantage of these resources or contact Mr. and Mr. Carraway and I, and we're always more than happy to help you with this kind of stuff. Um, additionally on that sheet um, is the acceptable use policy please make sure you, you understand and you have read it and your parents understand that you will sign an acceptable use policy for your school, but you also have one for Blue Ridge. We have very high expectations for you in terms of behavior and work ethic and commitment to being part of this program. So please take that seriously. Um, you know, we really want you guys to be successful. And if you ever have any questions about anything, I'd, I'd much rather you ask ahead of time. At the last orientation, we had one student very worried because um, when I started talking about the monitoring software and he was like, if, if I take a break and play video games, you're gonna know about that? Well, if you log out of your Blue Ridge account, I will not. So make sure you know that when you're in your Blue Ridge universe, you're focused. And when you're not, log yourself out. Um, you know, that's just a really important thing because it's, it's gonna come again when you're in college and then in your work life, you know, is being able to separate kind of your work stuff from your personal fun stuff. Um, 
any questions about technology or anything like that? Okay, um, and the last thing, not to scare you, but like if your teacher is absent one day and you guys are doing something on the computers, just know that they can see what you're doing. Like if they're out with another class or out for the day and they have their laptop open, they can see in live time what you're doing in class. So I just can't stress enough, when you're in, when you're on Blue Ridge time, be invested. You know, don't give us a reason to question it. Yeah. All right, guys, you've been sitting long enough. We're going to uh, start to 